Hey guys, today we talk about five important things you have to know when you want to rebuild your engine. First, and I think in my opinion, one of the important things, you have to work clean. You need a clean area, a clean workplace with good lights where you can see anything. Then you can also do good work. So, clean workshop. Number two, always double checking the machine shop. When you want to rebuild your engine at home, in the garage, invest some money in measurement tools. Like a bore gauge, a caliper, a micrometer, something like this. And do double checking the machine shop and also the parts you get. Like pistons and rods and something like this. It's very important and it can save you a lot of money. Number three, and I swear you guys, because of this reason, the most engines after a rebuild dies, it is they use simply too much silicone and I swear you, you don't need so much silicone. I will show you that in a small experiment. So here, that's the silicone we always use for the Zubaro engine rebuilds. That's 3 Bond 1215. Here we have a new fit. When you cut it, don't cut it here at the back because then it is simply too much. Here at the front, you see it? It is a super small hole. When you want to add some uh, silicone on the surface, make sure that it's super clean. No oil or grease or something like this. It has to be super clean, like this, perfect. And then you only need a really thin liner of this material. When we do it here like this, that is super okay. And now we change here the game. We make it much bigger. This. and install here so much, like I see in some videos. That is so fail. And when you want to do it here around the area, here's the oil channel here. You will see what happened. Here I have a super flat surface, it is a glass. And I put it now on it, so that this may be like another engine side. And you will see how much you really need and when I put it like this you see it here this is perfect here here it is also too much but normally there is a, um, a, a, a rubber ring but when you install it here like this you see it here is an oil channel that is a complete blocked blocked that's definitely the reason why a lot of engine dies after rebuild because too much silicone in the system. Yeah. That is nice to see. I have done it for for years now. And you can you know you can imagine what happened with the silicone here at this area after a short time it becomes loose and it, land, uh, it lies in the oil pan and the pickup will um, block the hot cord. Yes, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, that's a reason definitely. See here, when you have two flat surfaces, you don't need so much silicone. That is super like this. Okay, now number four, use torque wrench and check out the manuals. You found it on the World Wide Web, maybe you can invest some money and have to buy it, but it is definitely worth it. So, torque wrenches and manuals, service manuals. So the last but not the least tip is, make sure that there are no particles anymore in an oil system. You know, maybe when you rebuilt your engine, you had before engine damage and the oil system was full with particles, in the oil cooler, in the pickup, in the pan, in the heads, everywhere. Make super sure that they are super clean. And in the best way, do uh, put there a no new oil pump and a new oil cooler in it, then you are safe. 
So when you have rebuilt the engine and started for the first time and it runs fine, do after five minutes an oil change. Then you clean the oil system if there are somewhere particles where you don't find them or something like this. Then do in 3000 kilometers five oil changes with filter complete. Then you are super safe. And check maybe with your tuner if the mapping are good or if there are no uh, problems with some sensors. So guys, that was my favorite five tips for you if you want to rebuild your engine. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, hit the like button and uh, let me down a comment which engine are you currently uh, want to rebuild. So, thank you for watching. Ciao and bye bye.